Hi guys, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to discuss about equal sum and XR problem. The problem says that given a positive integer n, we are to find out the count of numbers less than or equal to n such that n plus i equal to n caret i. The caret symbol shows the XR operation between n and i. Let's understand the given problem with the help of an example. As an example, take the input as 7. Now, if we go on analyzing, we find that only 0 satisfies the given equation. That is 7 plus 0 equal to 7 carat 0. Since we find only one integer satisfying the given criteria, the output is 1. Again, take 12 as an input. We can see that we find 0, 1, 2 and 3 to be satisfying the given condition that is there are 4 such numbers hence we return 4 as an output. Now the thought process for the solution of the given problem goes through two different steps. Let us first start with the naive solution to this problem. A simple solution one can suggest for this problem is to iterate from i equal to 0 to i equal to n and count the values which satisfies the property of equal sum and XOR. The implementation of, the, of this approach is quite obvious. Here we have a function named count values which returns the number of integers satisfying the equal sum and XOR property. We first initialize the counter count v with 0. Now we iterate in value of i from 0 to n and whenever we find the satisfying value we increment the counter count v and at last we return the same. Although this approach have a time complexity of big of n since we are to iterate from i equal to 0 to n this seems perfect but this can create the situation worse when going for huge numbers of the order of 10 raised power 6 or more. Hence we must find out an effective method in solving this problem. One such effective method is available. C. We know that a plus b equal to a caret b plus a and b. That is if we want that n plus i should be equal to n caret i, we must go for n and i to be 0. Hence, our problem reduces to finding values of i such that n and i equal to 0. Now, how can we go for finding the count of such pairs? Look. For n and i to be 0, the set bits in n must be 0 in i, while others which are unset can be anything that is we have two options 0 or 1 for the unset bits, while only one option that is 0 for the set bits. Let's understand with an example. Take 12 as an input which has the binary representation of 1, 1, 0, 0. That is, we have two set bits and two unset bits. For the set bits, we have only 0 as the option, while for the unset bits, we have 0, 1, and 0, 1 in the options. And in that, we have total four such combinations that is, 0, 1, 2, and 3. Hence, the number of values of i are 2 square, which is equal to 4. Hence, for, hence we, we get that for the unset bits in n, we can have two options, either 0 or 1, which leave us with the 2 raised to the power count of such bits as the answer to the problem. Hence, finally, our problem is reduced at finding the number of unset bits in n and then computing the 2 raised to the power count of such unset bits and returning that value. So let's see how can we implement it. Initially take the unset bits variable and initialize it to 0. 
Then inside the while loop, we check each binary bit in n by performing the end operation with 1. Each time we right shift n by 1 to drop the checked bit. This will continue till n becomes 0 and at last we return all possible combinations of the unset bits which is 2 raised to the power of unset bits. And that can be achieved by left shift of unset bits variable by 1. This algorithm greatly reduces our complexity in time from big O of n to big O of log n. That is the number of order of binary bits in n. Here we have n complexity analysis. In time complexity, earlier what we were doing is we were iterating from i equal to 0 to n which would have resulted in time complexity of big O of n. But now we are efficiently going from each binary bit in n and since uh, those are order of log n hence we get the time complexity of order of log n in the efficient approach. While talking about space complexity in both the cases we do not require any extra space for storing the extra variables Hence, we get the space complexity of big O of 1 in both the cases. So here was the simple plus efficient approach in solving the problem of equal sum and XOR. I hope you have understood it. Thanks for watching. Please leave us your comments.